Hi, I'm Ryan with High Performance Consulting. Today we're going to talk about how to set up an input into your ProDash and log it into your Holly EFI or Terminator X. If you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any questions about the video or any comments for future videos, please comment below or shoot me an email at highperformanceconsulting at gmail.com. With that, let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is set up the input. To do that, you touch the screen, you go to Menu, select your configuration, go to Dash Configuration, and then you'll select the input you want to set up. For today's example, we're going to use IO11, which is a switch, and we're going to set it to Switch to Ground, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to name it Switch. From there, we'll look over and we'll see that it's in pin 23 in the super seal connector. And we'll go ahead and we'll wire that into the super seal. From there, we go ahead and we would set up the Terminator X software. Or in this case, what we're going to do is go ahead and set up the input on the dash so that we can check that it's working before going through and configuring it in software. To do that, we'll go to the Customize button. Click OK. Once in this screen, we'll select on the screen where we want the gauge to be. In this case, it'll actually be right here in the center. We'll click Add, Gauge. We'll select the channel we want. In this case, it's named Switch. And then for the type, we're going to click Status LED. And we can see it put it right in the center of the screen here, which is fine. That's what we want. Once that's done, we'll just click the screen and hit Save. And once we have it all set up, we'll go ahead and test the input and make sure that it works. And you can see it turns on as soon as I touch the ground. So now that we've got it set up in the dash and confirmed that it's working via an LED, we'll go ahead and set it up in the software. So to set it up in software, the first thing we do is open a new tune, or open the tune we're going to use. Once you have your tune open, you need to add the IOICF if you don't already have it. You do that by going up to Toolbox clicking Add Individual Config. We'll select that, and then once that pop-up shows, we'll go and we'll select I.O. and select Default. You'll see that you have a new icon at the top that says I slash O, and that's where we go. It opens to Inputs. From there, we'll select Enable, change it to a CAN, and we'll just name it switch in this case. And we'll click configure, go to CAN settings, select CAN device, and then we'll need to select the correct ProDash input. Now from that, we'll select A real quick and have a look. You'll see that it has inputs 1 through 8. If you select ProDash inputs B, you'll have inputs 9 through 13. So what we need to do now is go back to our dash, have a look at which input we want so we know which one to use A or B. So to do that, we'll go back to our dash, click Menu, click Configuration, select Dash Configuration, and we'll go back down to the input we want to see in the Terminator X. In this case, it says it is IO11, so that tells us we'll be on Pro Dash Inputs B. So we'll go back to the software, select Pro Dash Inputs B, select CAN Channel, Input 11. CAN Bus, since the Terminator X will be 1, if it were a Holla EFI Dominator, you would have the choice between 1 and 2. From there, we need to know the CAN serial number. Again, we need to go back to our Pro Dash and look at that. To find the CAN serial number, we need to navigate to the About screen. If you're on your gauges, the first thing you do is select Menu, then you go to Configuration, and you select About. At the top of the About page will be a CAN ID number. In this case, it is 1048, 1048. So we'll go back to our Terminator X software and we'll put that in. Then we'll go to Sensor Settings. In this case, we're going to change this to raw, which just means that it's fully configurable with no limits. We're going to chain, keep the units as nothing, 
we're gonna change the format to one since it's just a switch. So it can only be on or off. So it'll come in as a zero or a one. And then we're gonna change our sensor minimum to zero. Our sensor maximum to one. And from there, it's set up. Next thing to do would be either to check it in a data log or do a live monitor. I'm not set up to do a live monitor right now while I'm doing this video. So I'm gonna use a 3.5, record a log to it, and then show you that log. Before we do that though, I do wanna set up one other CAN input and show it to you guys. So we're gonna go and just repeat the process. We'll enable a second input, change it to CAN. I'm going to name it Gyro and then we'll configure it. We'll go to CAN settings, choose the Pro-IMU, that's an inertial measurement unit. Select CAN channel and we'll select uh, Gyro X. CAN bus is still one. Our CAN serial is still 1048 since we're using the same dash. So now that we have both of those set up, I'm gonna go ahead uh, get set up, do a quick log here, and then come back and show you that log. And now that my log started, I'm just going to tap the input a couple times. I'm going to go ahead and just shake it around, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so we're back in front of the computer. I'm going to go ahead, data log, open data log. I did this on a 3.5 Terminator XSD. So I'm just going to navigate there, save data logs. It'll be this last one here I just took. All right, so the next thing we need to do is set up our data log to actually look at them. So what we'll do to set up that, to set that up is we'll go up here and we'll click this E button, which is to edit the views. Alternately, you could come here, click this button and go to the bottom and click edit views here. They both go to the same screen right here where you'll be able to just go ahead and change all of your screens for data logging. In this case, I've got two empties here on the nitrous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find my two inputs and drag them over there. So here we have switch, here we have gyro. Go ahead and click okay, and hit yes. And then we'll go and navigate to nitrous. And we can see there they are. So you can see I have, I hit the ground switch four times and then I shook the dash around here. And you can see that it reported both, recorded them both to the SD card. Uh, this would also record directly to the uh, PC or directly to an internal log if you were using an HP or Dominator. So we've gone and confirmed everything's working. Uh, you're either done or if you're an advanced user you may be wanting to use some of these tables in the tune somewhere else like the advanced table or the IOIC. Uh, that's a video for another day if you want to see how to set up various IO or advanced tables please tell me what you want to see down in the comments below. I'm always looking for ideas. Uh, otherwise, I just kind of do what comes to my mind that day. So if you have something you want to see, let me know. I'll make it happen.